Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I am the Sarcastic Barman and welcome to my channel. We've had an up and down week this week, I cannot decide on what video to do. We started looking at this numbskull. Alright guys, I want to make a quick video, won't be long, covering about 15 maybe more fallacies that globe earthers use constantly because they don't have any empirical observation or scientific evidence to support the heliocentric model. But I got about that far through the video and thought, this entire video is a poisoning the well fallacy right from the get-go. So I thought, fuck that shit, let's see what else we've got. And then we discovered this one. Okay, I'm so bored of cannonball delusionists citing Captain Sensible's balloon footage as somehow evidence that we live on a cannonball flying through a vacuum, that reluctantly I'm going to address this. But then I thought, well, that's for Mr. Sensible to defend, really. And it's just going to be mind-numbingly stupid. So we had a bit more looking, and we came across this. Look at them, they don't care. They're not real. you got to wear a piece of tissue paper over your face so you can block that virus out, right? The virus that's smaller than oxygen molecules. But hearing him try and say that the virus is smaller than an oxygen molecule made me think that maybe he's not got two brain cells to rub together and it'd be a bit horrible to pick on him. Luckily, we found this. Now, this is the channel Zoom Truth. And the video we were going to, unfortunately, has been removed. So if we have a look at their other latest video, I can show you what caught my eye. Now, this is all done with a Flat Earth People Finder app, which made me go, oh, that's going to be so amusing. Why would these people want to find each other? So we thought we'd click the links and go to the what we thought would be a link for that. Unfortunately, it's not. It's something completely and utterly different. Yeah. It's this. So, on that note, I think it's time to pour a beer, stick the intro on, and prepare some major facepalm protection. Now we'll start with what's at the top of the page, and that'll be this. Auschwitz, a death camp. More like a labour camp. No. And this is from a book by a lady called Carolyn Yeager, who was referred to as a woman of leaden stupidity, who managed to take two walking tours of Auschwitz, then come out with this crap. And though we are not denying that there are facilities, what? Well, there were facilities at Auschwitz, including a swimming pool, the dentist, maternity ward, orchestra and things like that. That doesn't change the fact the camp as a whole killed a shed load of people. Around 1.3 million people. <sighs> things like the swimming pool were used at Auschwitz 1 as a way of being nice to certain prisoners to help control them shall we say. You be good, you get to use this. Let's not forget, Auschwitz wasn't just one camp really. It was split over several camps, covering there over around 5,000 football fields. Yeah, this wasn't a small place. Auschwitz 1, which had these facilities, was more of a standard concentration camp, keeping interned prisoners. Whereas you also had a labour camp and a death camp. The differences are quite stark, and for someone to come out with something as stupid as this is horrendous. Something like the swimming pool was also used as a water reservoir. The diving boards were added at a later time, mainly to do with the Red Cross tours, which weren't allowed to go to certain areas of the camp, especially the crematoriums. I wonder why. Now scrolling down one of the most stupid pages on the internet, we find this list of seven even more stupid points. Number one being the only thing resembling a gas chamber was constructed in 1946 by Stalin. That'll be a no. And while it's true the Germans did convert gas chamber one into a bomb shelter, it's also true they didn't want to get caught really, having killed almost 1.3 million at this camp alone. 
and the gas chambers were blown up, it doesn't mean the evidence for them isn't still there. It'd be stupid to think it's not. Point number two isn't any more intelligent, I will be fair. Not a single diagnosis of cyanide poison is recorded for any German labour camp. Yes, because German labour camps is where they had forced slave labour. Death camps is where they killed all the people. Just leaving that out there. Now, while it's true there are books recording the deaths for the labour camps, there are no records for the deaths for the death camps. In the way that the people that were in charge of taking the people and killing them didn't want to leave a nice big paper trail saying, yes, today we killed this many people with Cylon B, because that would be a great plan to do. They only recorded the deaths of the slave labourers they actually used. A lot of those that were even at the death camps were the people who were supposed to be sent to the death camps. And then we're like, you're looking strong enough that you could help pull a body out this gas chamber and throw it in either an oven or a big pit to burn. Well done you, you get to live an extra couple of days. Because that's about how long they usually lived. Point number three is just showing how far down the rabbit hole these people are going. Not a trace whatever remains of the millions of bodies allegedly gasped in the German labour camps. Well, one, it's the German death camps, not the labour camps. Two is, it's amazing how little of a body is left when you burn it. And I'm talking burn the crap out of it. And any big bones that are left are then pulverised to use as... <sighs> I don't even want to say it. Pulverised, taken with the ashes from the other bodies, and used as fertilisers on fields. There is evidence and photos of bodies being burnt and a, a turn away note now that this is pictures smuggled out of Germany during the war that show the bodies being burnt. Link for this article down below. The images are also titled Images from Hell. Now, point number four just shows how little research these people actually bother to do in their claims. None of the war generals after the war wrote in their memoirs, made any allusions to human gas chambers, or indeed to any intention to exterminate an ethnic group. Strange, because Adolf Eichmann quite clearly puts in his how Hitler ordered the destruction of the Jewish people. Commandant Hoss of the camp writes how his men took the bodies out of the gas chambers. So how that works in your favour, I will never know. Now point number five is a throwback to something we mentioned earlier. The Red Cross made normal routine visits to Auschwitz during the war and its published reports made no allusions to ongoing human gassing there. Yes, because the Germans definitely took the Red Cross visitors into the gas chambers. They didn't just take them round the areas they wanted them to see on strictly guided tours, showing them the internment areas for political prisoners and prisoners of war. Because obviously the Germans wanted to show them how they were killing all these people. Now point number six seems to be the stupidest point on this list. No authentic documents assessing to the Holocaust exist anywhere. Now this is a lesson learnt by Hitler early on in his reign with the T4 programme, which is basically a euthogenics programme for 100,000 Germans who either didn't measure up either to intelligence or body standards, whether it be disabilities or things like that. And there was a huge outcry by the German public saying, Hoi, you can't do this. So publicly they said, fine, we won't, very sorry, we won't do anything like that. While still obviously doing it in camps, interning people, starving people and killing people. So if one reported document about killing people with disabilities causes that much outcry that they have to pedal back, do you really think they're going to publicly write down and release reports saying how we're going to kill all these millions of other people? No, you wouldn't, would you? Now, point number seven is slightly debatable, and more so doesn't help the Holocaust deniers as a whole. 
There are two main primary sources for how many died at Auschwitz. The Bad Olsen archives, 290,000 altogether in German labour camps, 70,000 in Auschwitz, and the death books of Auschwitz, 70,000 dead in Auschwitz. Then what percentage were Jews? The British intelligent decrypts gives you that as around 40%. So at the upper limit, 40,000 Jews dying at Auschwitz. The Bad Archives lists everyone who lived and died in all the German labour camps. The question naturally arises to what total number were recorded in this tremendous archive. Clearly, the managers of this archive are not at liberty to tell all of this, or they would be jailed for, so for an awful crime. And many have been jailed and hung for their awful crimes. Now, the figures of how many died in the camps is slightly debatable. The Germans didn't tend to keep records of how many they were killing. They did though, keep records of the trains, which does give us a good estimate figure of how many people arrived at Auschwitz and never seemed to ever leave, which gives us the figure of around 900,000 Jews alone for Auschwitz. The figure of 6 million for the Holocaust in total has varied from around 5.9 million up to 6.3 and this is based on data collected from censuses and birth and death records. We know these people were born but then they seem to disappear. Yeah, there's no death records for where they lived because they couldn't stay where they lived because of the Germans but there's no record of them moving to another country because by that point they weren't allowed to leave Germany because of travel restrictions on non-Aryan Germans. These figures are there, they can be looked at, and it's not something we should take lightly. Now this is probably one of the more serious subjects I've ever done on this channel, but it does come with something at the end. This is a call out to other flat earthers. Do you really want to stand by people who are pushing this crap forward do you really want to be in the group that are saying yeah the holocaust wasn't real really maybe it's time you took a stance on your channel saying no we don't appreciate this you can't say stuff like this why are you doing this this was one channel there are others out there that have shown anti-semitic and holocaust denying tendencies before do you really want your entire group tarred by the few nutters that I think are more nutters than you lot? No, I really don't think you do. But that's the end of the video this week. Hopefully something a bit more light, cheery, fun next week. I've been the Sarcastic Barman. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Links for some of the articles and things mentioned down below. No, I will not be linking the uh, Holocaust Denial website because that would just be stupid. Thank you very much. Good night. Now, a big thank you for everyone for making it to the end of the video, if you did. Uh, listen to all my members and Patreons. Thank you for support. Flying across the screen now at light speed or whatever speed I've done. Uh, if you'd like to join any of those, links for all that down in the description. Uh, please leave me a comment what you thought of tonight's video and what you'd like to see me do on the channel from future on. Do you want more flat earth, anti-vaxxers, silly stuff? Do you want more serious stuff? I don't know what to do at the moment and I've got locked down so I've got plenty of time to go through things. Uh, don't forget to go and check out the rest of the videos tonight on Le Blizzlebulls, uh, the playlist for that one. Uh, I'm recording this unfortunately before the list of tonight's videos are out but hopefully you've all joined me from I'm guessing Ivy's video and I've got no idea who's next. Uh, but hopefully enjoy those. Don't forget pub chat later on this evening for anyone watching the video live. If not, go check it out later on the EIE network. Plus, we've got the Silly Shill shows, poker, and hopefully a couple of extra videos coming out on my channel over the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much. Good night.